Hello, my viewers. Welcome back to Apex Apex Hours. Uh, this is session seven. Um, this is a small topic that I wanted to cover from our previous session. So, in our previous session, we have seen so far like what are variables, what are set variables, what are attributes, and uh, scope of set variables. Sorry, scope of variables, payload, and attributes. Correct. And uh, imagine uh, if uh, remember if you correctly remember in our previous sessions uh, when I was discussing about mule event, I explained that uh, attributes are something which are immutable and they will change when they connect to external systems. But so far in our previous sessions, we haven't seen anything that uh, you know we are connecting to an external system uh, so that uh, we didn't get a chance to see the actual scope of set variables so for that i am doing a small tricky thing here this is just for your understanding purpose okay and um, just uh, you know for certification purpose it is really important so what i will do is i will drag and drop another HTTP listener you can have multiple HTTP listeners that's fine but the path should be different path should be unique okay in real time scenarios we never use drag and drops you know manually we always go with the uh, uh, RAML okay so for now what I will do is this is test okay this is test this endpoint is test and uh, let me make this endpoint as uh, something some airlines we can say like you know um, air india okay assume that this particular uh, listener is listening to the request and giving the response as uh, previously we had like hello worlds this is ravanlingam okay what i would like to do is i will remove the entire thing or i can just keep the same thing that that should be fine okay and we will see what is the scope of variables payload and attributes at this point of time okay but here we are connecting with flow reference okay the only change that i am doing is i will remove this flow reference to call imagine this won't be the scenario like calling the same uh, you know flow using http request in the same api but for our understanding purpose imagine that these two are two different projects are okay two different applications one is like my first listener and listener these two are two different things and are you know two separate things so to call whenever i you know whenever someone to listen some request we are using http listener but if you want to make a request if you want to call another api which is already present we will use http request again we will discuss more about http request in our coming sessions in detail but for now to make sure the concept of uh, scope of attributes uh, i'm trying to use this http request for now okay so let me go back here let me save it go to the http request okay yeah so what you can do is you can just click on plus i'll explain these details again later just click on okay so the full url you can mention here we know that the path would be localhost colon 8080 i'll just copy paste entire thing okay localhost 8081 and this would be like air canada all right air canada sorry air india i'm sorry or else it will give 40404 okay and for now what i will do is let me keep like this as air india i'll tell you the reason so as usual let's debug the project so in when it comes to certification exam please don't get confused when they are giving flow reference and when they are giving http request okay when we are using http request the attributes will be overridden okay from whatever we, it is coming from here okay or if there are no attributes here that are set the attributes will become null also again i say oh like this is simple example that this scenario never exists but still the set variable whatever is there here 
it is you remember we were telling like uh, it will carry as long as the flow is connected the flow is connected which means using flow reference but not http request so when the debugger point is here you won't see the set variable component but when you come back to the logger you will see the set variable component so this is a small difference that i wanted to show in this video okay my status is deployed let me send run okay so as as usual go to mule debugger you see payload is empty you can see attributes so in attributes in query parameters you can see my name Sravan Lingam just observe this okay so at this point of time earlier uh, variables were zero because the blue dotted line that concept you should never forget whenever there is a blue dotted line on that connector it is not yet processed now after completing that set variable you can see your variable Sravan Lingam is present now next okay Next, this HTTP requester should call this one. You can see here and you can see you cannot see variables here because this is not connected through flow reference. This is like imagine that this this second flow is like in separate application. OK, that is one thing. And uh, you can see here my attributes are erased. Now I go to next. It is saying timeout exceeded because we are in debug mode. We are taking so much time. I will send the request again next 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 okay so you can see now the payload that is coming from uh, you know this listener is being displayed here payload air india and you can see all our previous query there are no query parameters nothing that's what i have uh, told you before that a uh, attributes okay they will override with the new values or if there are no new values it will give null null values okay whenever it is connecting to external system here also it consider this one as external system this air india thing okay you can see air india is being displayed okay i'll send it again to show you okay here you can see variables are present variables Ravan lingam and attributes query parameters as uh, Stravan Lingam, but when it comes to this request, right, to this HTTP listener, all those will be vanished because it is like connecting like an external system. But the set variable will come back if it is coming to the same flow. You can see here, okay, variables are zero. But if you come back to the logger, your variable comes back. Okay, so this is a small thing that I wanted to show you. So please do, do not forget about this part. Like. Uh, in certification exam and all make sure what is there here if the flow reference is present all the values are present because we are con not connecting to any external system if it is not then if it is connected through http request then this is the process now another important thing that i wanted to show you guys is uh, i have been using transfer message i keep using transfer message hereafter because i am more comfortable with that it's not that we should not be using set point not but it is like i'll tell you the difference of to use transfer message and set payload okay so transfer message earlier i told having like this air india and if you open the transfer message you can keep application json for now okay and if you paste it both are one and the same okay so here also i can use whatever is there like dw 2.0 all this stuff i can go to set payload click on this one and paste it okay you can do the same thing okay but what is the difference when it is the same thing what is the difference of what is the purpose of having two things right so imagine i will first delete this set payload and i will show you that both are same so let me this time I will run the project So my application is deployed if i send the request you will get the same response air india there is no big difference but what is the purpose of having transfer message over this one the reason is consider 
HTTP requester is not there okay in this case okay let me remove this listener or let me delete the whole flow just to do this transfer message you want to set payload okay json you want to set payload something like a or hello sravanling now hello world sravanling and i don't want to have multiple variables on my uh, flow okay in that case what i can do i can copy this okay you can also include variables in your transform message that is the advantage okay payload you can have only one at all uh, at all point you should have only one payload in your transform message but if you want to add more variables there is an option called plus symbol here can you see click on that you can add either attributes you can add variables that is the advantage of transform message for now let me add variable just whatever is their name okay click on okay you can see now we have two things this is payload hello world seven lingam if you drop down and there is variable name right here also you can use the same thing or you can also remove everything and keep attributes dot query parameters dot name okay likewise now you don't need this variable because we are already setting a variable here variable name not only that you can add as many variables as you want okay fruit name click on okay i'll hard code this value as apple okay now if you drop down here you can see one payload always at a time or there will be only one payload we can have multiple variables can you see here variable name variable fruit name you can also add attribute also click on okay and uh, here you can say like you know query params colon okay or you can say name colon or college city something city colon hyderabad okay so in this way in your transform message instead of doing multiple drags and drops say having multiple set variables earlier to have two variables what we used to do we used to drag and drop two set variables okay and write it and uh, if you want to set a uh, attributes th there is only one way to set it that is from here so drop down attributes variable so that is the advantage of transform message so based upon your uh, you know ease you can always make you make sure that you want to either use multiple set variables or if you want everything in one go okay now let's debug and see how it works let me stop the application let me debug So always we have to go to console and check whether it is deployed or not when you are in debug mode. Most of the people like you know they keep staying in some other tab and they keep waiting whether it is deployed or not. So it is deployed now. Go ahead, send the request. Now at this point of time you will see only one query parameter that is coming from our request, Sravan Lingam. You won't see variables yet because the blue dotted line is on top of this. So you won't see payload also. Okay because the blue dotted line is not yet processed now if you go to next you can see payload hello world seven lingam is coming and the two variables that you have set fruit name and name both are coming also an attribute which we have used and one more thing the attributes here got overridden because we are manipulating the attributes right so very simple so this is what I wanted to show you in this session, the scope of variables, attributes and payload when it comes to flow reference and HTTP requester and what is the purpose of using transfer message over set payload or set variables. You can use both of them. Okay. There is no restrictions. Hope you like this session. We will come up with an interesting session in our next session. We will start with the concepts of data weave that is really important so don't work it to uh, you know miss the session and also i want everyone to do the hands-on part along with me that is really important to learn something 
ओके थैंक यू